Hello friends and welcome to today's video. Oxygen, heat and fuel are frequently referred to as an element of fire triangle and add in the fourth element, the chemical reaction. You actually have a fire tetrahedron. The important thing is to remember is that take any one of these four things away and you will not have a fire or the fire can be extinguished. For example, fire triangle work on the same principle as like CO2 extinguisher. Deplete the air contact with material means in other way reduces the oxygen concentration which result in reduces the propagation of chain reaction and extinguish the fire. Or let's consider water type extinguisher example which absorb the heat and reduces the amount of it available to fire reaction. Same thing is applicable to dust pentagon. Those who are not aware about dust explosion, please refer video on dust explosion. Link is shared in description box. There is another way to avoid the situation like fire triangle and dust pentagon known as inertization, which is done through using gases like N2 and CO2. Inertization work on the principle of depletion of O2 concentration and brought it below LOC that is minimum oxygen concentration. So in this video we will see which are the gases used for inertization, their advantages and disadvantages. What are the procedure of inertization and their advantages and disadvantages. But before that we once again clear our basic idea about LOC that is limiting oxygen concentration. Limiting oxygen concentration, it is the minimum oxygen concentration below which combustion is not possible. Unit volume percent of oxygen concentration. LOC depend on pressure and temperature and type of inert gas. Carbon dioxide having higher heat capacity than nitrogen required less quantity. Higher specific heat capacity reduces the area susceptible to flammability. Techniques of inertization, flow through purging pressure purging and vacuum pressure purging. Flow through purging operation nitrogen continuously flow to vessel flow control through rotameter vent wall open to atmosphere disadvantages of flow through purging large amount of nitrogen is required required more time to achieve inertization. Pressure purging nitrogen continuously flow to vessel and vessel pressurize at set value vent wall close after certain pressurization vent wall open to vent the pressure cycle repeated till required LOC achieve. Advantages Less amount of nitrogen and timing required than flow through purging. Vacuum pressure purging Vessel evacuated by vacuum and then pressurize with nitrogen at set value. Nitrogen pressure break by vacuum. Cycle repeated till required LOC achieve. Advantages Less amount of nitrogen and timing required than pressure purging and flow through purging. तो आज के वीडियो में बस इतना ही मिलते हैं हमारे अगले वीडियो में तब तक के लिए मैं रोहित साइनिंग ऑफ बाय बाय